Welcome back. Let's take a look at this question. Which of the following metal piping systems contained in a building is slash R required to be bonded? A metal gas pipe supplying a furnace with an electric ignition system. A copper water pipe in a bathroom that is connected to an electric water heater. A metal airline for compressed air that is connected to electronically controlled solenoid valves and D all of these need to be bonded so key phrases metal piping system and bonded those are the two root call outs here we have metal gas pipe we have copper water pipe and then we have a metal airline so all of these are going to be metal of some sort. And we need to figure out what sort of, uh, which one of these three needs to be bonded or if all of them need to be bonded. We'll go to the index. And article 250 is gonna cover grounding and bonding. And so if we go to B, we're specifically chasing bonding. So we'll go to bonding, which again, article 250. And we're gonna to try to find either metal piping systems or just piping systems in general. We have metal boxes, but no metal piping. And then here we just have piping systems and exposed structural steel. So even though this is two sections, we're just gonna go straight to here, 250-104. So we'll go through our tabs here. This is 250-122, gets me pretty close. Just gotta go back a little bit. That's 250-104, but that's the end of the article, 250-104. Metal piping systems, uh, or excuse me, metal water piping, other metal piping, structural steel, and then separately derived systems. So A is our metal water piping, which is our copper pipe. So that means yes. Other piping systems. If it is installed in or attached to a building or structure, a metal piping system, including gas piping, that is likely to become energize shall be bonded to any of the following so uh, when looking at this all of them are going to have some sort of electric electricity connected to them so they're all likely to become energized so that means yes all of these need to be bonded